All right, folks, so today we're back on the Xbox Series S, and this time we're going to be taking a look at memory card management for your PlayStation 2 memory cards in the PC SX2 RetroArch Core. Now, in order to do this, your Xbox will need to have developer mode and RetroArch installed, and within RetroArch, you'll need the PC SX2 Core set up. If you've not already done that, you can check out this playlist here, which will walk you through the process of getting all of that set up. PCSX2 does a great job of giving you memory cards to save your games, but it doesn't give you too many options for managing the saves themselves. If you want to back up individual save files to your computer, or even import complete game saves that you found online, that is possible with just a couple of quick steps, so let's head over to the PC and see how that's done. The first thing we're going to do is download a copy of MyMC, which will allow you to view and edit your virtual memory cards on your computer. Head over to the MyMC website, scroll down and click on the MyMC Alpha 2.6 zip file link right here to download. Once the file is done downloading, open up your downloads folder in a new window. Next, we're going to create a new folder to extract the zip file to. To do that, right click on your desktop and select New, Folder, and then name the folder MyMC. Once the new folder is created, open up the zip folder. Select all of the files and then just drag and drop them over into the MyMC folder we just created. Next, we're going to need a game save file to import. So, for this video, we'll be taking a look at Soul Calibur 2 since it has a good selection of unlockable fighters. Just for reference, here's the character select screen from Soul Calibur 2 with a clean save file loaded. And you can see here there's nine hidden fighters. So, let's see if we can find a save file online that has all these already unlocked for us. There's a number of different sites that you can find game saves on, but today we're going to head over to GameFAQs. So here we are on the Soul Calibur 2 GameFAQs page, and on the Saves tab you can see there there's a number of different save files available. Pick the save file you want and click the blue Download button to download the save file. I'm going to grab this Action Replay Max file with everything unlocked. Once the file's downloaded, head back to your Downloads folder and drag and drop the file onto your desktop. Finally, we're going to grab the virtual memory card we want to add the save to from our RetroArch installation. So in order to do that, open up your Xbox file share and click on the Windows Apps folder. Select the RetroArch installation, and then click on the Saves folder. Click on the PCSX2 folder, and within that, select the folder of the memory card you want to add to or back up. And then within the memory card folder, grab that file, drop it onto your desktop, and minimize the Xbox file share window. Now we have all the files that we need, open up the MyMC folder and click on the MyMC-GUI file. In the pop-up, double click on the memory card file to load it. Within MyMC, you'll see all of the game saves on the memory card. Since I already have a Soul Calibur 2 save on the memory card, I'm just going to delete that real quick before I import the new save we just got from GameFAQs. To do that, select the game save and click File. In the drop down, click Delete and then Yes in the pop up to confirm. Next, we're going to import the new complete game save file that we just downloaded. To do that, click the Import button and then in the pop up, click on the save file you want to import and it will add the save file to the memory card. Now, if you want to back up your save files to your PC, all you need to do is select the file you want to back up and press the export button. So we'll do that real quick with the Rumblefish save I have here. Just select the destination where you'd like the file to live, in this case on my desktop, and press the save button. Click OK on the pop-up and the file will save. There we go. OK, so now we've done updating the memory card, we just need to add it back into the RetroArch installation. To do that, just maximize your Xbox file share window and drag and drop the file back into the memory card folder. Click replace the file in the destination and we're all done. So let's head over to the Xbox and see what we've got. So here we are on the Xbox and you can see Soul Calibur 2 booting through the PC SX2 core in RetroArch. Let's start a game real quick and we'll see if all the fighters are now unlocked. Okay, so you can see here that six of the nine unlockable fighters are unlocked. So the save file we downloaded wasn't quite complete, but even having six of the fighters will be a huge time save. So I'm quite happy with that. So that's the quick guide on how to back up and import game save files for the PCSX2 PlayStation 2 core in RetroArch on the Xbox Series S and X. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.